Hello folks, it's Mr Neil here and in this video we are going to add power-ups to Galga. Let me show you what I mean. When the game starts and I start firing, I get 10 bullets. When I run out of bullets, I now can no longer shoot. I have to collect a power-up and then I can start shooting again. So let's have a look at how we implement that functionality. So here I am in my Galga code. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to get the bullets limited. Now, to keep track of our bullets, we are going to use the score. The score is how many bullets we have. So I'm going to go into Info. And when the game starts, we are going to set the score to 10. So when the game loads, I will have 10 bullets. And when we press the A key, we want the bullets to go down. So we're going to go into Info, and we're going to say change the score by 1, put that into our on A press, and we'll put there minus 1. So now when I run the game, I can hit space, and you'll see the score goes down. However, it goes down below 0, so I now have minus 24 bullets. So we want it to stop when it reaches 0. So to do that, we are going to have to do a logical decision. So we're going to go into logic and we're pulling out an if true then else block and we're going to put it in the top. Then we're going into logic and we're going to pull out a zero less than zero block. And what is it that we're looking for? Well, we're looking for if the score is greater than, so we're going to click the drop down and select greater than. We're going into info and we're going to pull score. If the score is greater than zero, then we can start firing our projectile. If the score isn't greater than zero, then we want to tell the player we've got no bullets. So we're going to go into sprites, and we're looking for the my sprite say block, and we're putting that inside the aisles. And the sprite that we want to pick is our space so mine's space plane, so we want it to match. And what we want it to say is no bullets. And we want it to say that for, let's go for two seconds. So now when I load the game, if I hit space, when I get to zero, I can no longer fire. So let's now add in the level up, the power up pack, that means I will get more bullets. So to do this, you're looking for your on-game update every however long you have in your game. And we're going to select Duplicate. And we're going to make some changes to this block of code. Firstly, I don't want my power-ups to appear as often as my baddies. So I'm going to change that and increase it to every five seconds. I will want a power-up. I'm going to change the object from a bogey and I'm going to click a new variable and I'm going to call this a bullet pack and click OK. And I'm going to change each of these bogeys to bullet pack. Next, I'm going to change the sprite of my bullet pack to something else. Yours can be whatever you want. And I'm going to change the kind enemy and I'm going to select Add New Kind, and I'm going to call it Power Up, and click on OK. So now when we run our game, we get our enemy, but we also get, you've see, seen it there at the, when the game started, we get this Power Up every five seconds as well. At the moment, nothing happens when I interact with that Power Up. It goes straight over the top of me. So we need to add an overlap between the player and the power-up. So we're going to go into sprites and we're looking for the on kind of player overlaps of kind player block. And we're going to change the second block to our new power-up object. And what is it that we want to happen? Well, when we get power-up, we want to go to info. We want to change score and we'll pick the number of bullets we get. So for example, 10 bullets. 
And we also want to go into sprites. And we want to destroy the other sprite. So now when I play my game, I can shoot my 10 bullets until I've got no bullets left. And then when I collect a power up, you'll notice there that my points went back up. Again, I've got no bullets and I've just lost my life. So there you have it. In this video, I've showed you how to add a power pack to your Galga game.